guys, what's up? It's Kenzie Ziegler. Welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to be doing a really different <laughs> video. I'm at the Westlake Studios in Hollywood, and I am going to be playing little snippets of my entire album that is coming out, which I'm so excited for you guys to hear. And I'm kind of just going to tell you pretty much what they're about, I guess? <laughs> so I'm going to take you through all of the eight songs that I recorded for my album and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let's get into it. First we're gonna play my favorite one. It's my favorite one. Fancy Cars and Dyson wrote this song for me and I got to incorporate a little bit of my words into it too so I kind of wrote a little bit of it. This is the, this is my favorite one on the album. Um, it's so fun and so groovy and I think you guys are going to really like it, so let's play it. This song is called Emotions. I got all these emotions boiling like oceans trying to bring me down. When it gets crazy, I know that maybe I get a little freaked out, yeah. Don't get what they say, cause it's only noise. Yeah, I know I've got a choice, but I got all these emotions boiling like oceans trying to bring me down. So the next one is going to be Nothing On Us, and it's already out, but... Ya yeah boy! Ya yeah boy! <laughs> Where are my headphones? Jeez, this business is hard work, man. <laughs> Well, my friends mean pretty much everything to me, and I think they definitely inspired this song because it's all about girl power and oh, yeah. just, um, like, not letting anything get to you when you're with your friends. So I think it's all about girl empowerment and just, like, strong women, I guess, and about your friends. Like, friends are the best thing in the world. I, so. I definitely remember when we were in the room and we were asking you just, like, about, you know, some times that you have with your friends and how, like, you know, talking about the shirt off your back, like, you mm -hmm. know, you want your friends to feel secure and, and right. powerful and awesome about who they are. Yeah, and I feel like also musically, we wanted to really capture that as yeah. well, mm -hmm. that femininity, yep. but also having power to the right. track as well and a nice bounce. So it's not just all, you know, cute and girly, it does have a really nice punch to it as well. So this song is called Rockstar, and this is actually one of my favorite songs. On yeah, you like this one a lot? Yeah, yeah we love, I this, love one. this one. I love this one. It's so fun. It's got like a more mature yeah. kind of sound for sure. It was actually really funny because initially I think you said, you're like, I just want something that's like pumps me up, that I can work mm -hmm. out to, my friends right. can work out to. So funny enough, we were in the gym. We were both <laughs> on treadmills. We were walking, talking about the session coming up. She said, how about Rockstar? And I was like... Well, what if we do like a, a twist on it? And I said, um, I don't need a rock to lean on. Right. I don't need a star to wish on because I feel like a rock star. Right. I already have a rock. I already have a star. So when I you said that, I, I remember I was just like, <laughs> Whoa. blow. I, know, I was like, I was seriously. I was like, I gotta run now. I got a lot of energy after that one. That one hyped me up. <laughs> and the song is very um, relatable as well yeah. because, like, I think a lot of teenagers can relate to it because obviously I can relate to it because um, people are going. Like my age, people are going through like struggles and tr finding true friends and all that yeah. stuff. So I think this song is definitely um, very relatable and very inspirational too. So I really like it. Yes. Counting every minute, running all around and feeling low, 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 low. Oh no, no, no. Trying to be a winner, trying to remember. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, 
So, wonderful. Um, Sia actually wrote it for me, and it's so cool that I got to have her write a song for me, and she's such a huge inspiration to me. If my voice sounds bad, uh, just know I have a cold. Every day, every day is better than yesterday. Every day, every day, every day, I'm closer to wonderful. I guess this song is just about, you know, being knocked down and not being in the best place. And then finally, everything just starts coming together and you're like closer to wonderful. So it's like each day it gets even better and even when you're knocked down it like always just brings you back up so i remember i was talking to sia one day and i was like yeah i'm really like loving music and i'm really getting into it more and you know i was just telling her about like what i've been doing and she, i was like it'd be so cool if you wrote a song for me and she was like oh yeah i'm, I'm gonna write you a ditty and she wrote me a ditty and she sent it to me and I was obsessed with it. Um, this next one is Confused, and this is actually the first one we wrote together. Yes. And I just remember going into the studio and just <laughs> ranting to you guys for, like, oh yeah, so long. It was, it was in a conversation that you were just like, I'm just so confused. Right. And, you know, as songwriters, Alina and I 100% are always we listening listen out. We listen when people sit on a for couch sure. and tell for stories. Sure. We're like, song title, song title. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you're saying, and then you're like, I'm so confused. I was like, what? Just sifting. Yeah. What a great, yeah. you know, feeling as as a song to just like, I know I've been there, and I know right. Alina's been there too. It's like everybody's we, been there. Everybody's been there. It's like if they're texting me or what right. one of the lines is like, leaving mm -hmm. you on red. <laughs> it's obviously about a boy. I remember when I was talking to you guys, um, you were like, I'm going through the same exact oh, thing. Yeah. No, I was. So it's pretty much about a boy, and um, he was a boy. He she was, was a girl. girl. <laughs> and I pretty much just didn't know what was going on. Yeah. But, because just, it's boys are stupid sometimes. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> like, yeah. anyone in relationships, like, relationships overall are just so confusing. So, I mean, like, we all have from personal experience, like, getting left on red or people kind of sending mixed signals towards right. you to, like, and you just, like, don't know what to do. You're like, I just think I'm going to sit here and be confused. Right. Confused. I love this one. I do, too. I love all our songs. We do. I'm biased. <laughs> we're really very, very biased. Yeah. yeah. I'm just like, everything we do, I'm like, wow, we're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <don't be> funny. <laughs> called Ignore It and it's a duet with me and Kylie Renee. Shout out Kylie. I love Kylie. She's my best friend. Um, we were kind of just like, okay, what's a good topic? We kind of were all bouncing For around two ideas. girls to talk about. Yeah. You know, it was, it was interesting and a little challenging too because we were like, well, we don't want you guys fighting over guys we <laughs> yeah, were we not about that vibe yeah you know? it, it was kind of just like if it's going to be about a love song then it needs to be something that it's like you know kind of old destiny's child where it's like yeah. okay we both don't like him yeah we're, right he is yeah you know the trash the song, and that's kind of the vibe that we went with and it was really interesting because girl power is awesome as we've said in the past oh, every song that every we've song, done every song, every song 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 song. i mean it's really cool how you know she didn't have to be there for your recording and you didn't have to be there for her yeah, recording right. but it just sounds so cohesive like you 
you guys were there talking right. about the same situation. You know? Yeah, like, and just hanging out and writing it all together it just came out really cohesive. So we're so happy about it. Yeah, yeah I so. love this one. Leaving you on red on that. What a waste of time. Said you wouldn't start a fight, but here you go again. Talking to your friend behind. You're back out of line. But she shut him down and told you about it in the end. <laughs> and I wrote it with fancy cars. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta fall to pieces. I forgot how it sounded like. One, two, three, four. It can be hard trying to be perfect, shining like stars, but we keep burning out. Keep burning out. Going insane when it's been hurt and So Fancy Cars actually wrote Teamwork and Breathe with the Liar Girls, so um, it's so cool that I get to work with like both of them now. <laughs> um, I love their music. They actually did a song with Bozzy and I'm like obsessed with it. <laughs> I remember um, I listened to some of their music and I was like, I want to write with them again. And they have like the coolest tracks ever and this song is so cool because it's different than like literally anything i've ever done and it's so like intense and i love it so much because it sounds like obviously i'm too young to be at a club but like it sounds like one of those songs like when you go to a party and it's like bumping and like everyone's just dancing so the song is kind of about just like how you're falling to pieces and then like in the song it's like in the chorus it's kind of just saying like but everything's gonna be all right you just have to have a little faith so um it's pretty much saying you have to fall to pieces to bring yourself back up and build yourself back up so um i think this song is really awesome and i like all of my songs because they're all really inspirational and a lot of kids and like anyone can really relate to them so you may go now Oh, we're on? <laughs> yeah, whenever. Oh. We're live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this next one is called Phases, and I really like this one. I think it's kind of different than like all the other ones that are on my album because it's more like chill and slow, mm -hmm. and I really like the vibe of this one a lot. Yeah, we've definitely heard, you know, you talked about, you went to the Billie Eilish concert not that long Loved ago. It. We love yes. Billie Eilish. Like, you know, big fan of like Post Malone, who's yeah, and some of the covers sure. that you you do in your shows mm -hmm. live. Yeah, yeah, we were kind of very inspired by that. Wanted right. to write something that really showcases the soulfulness of your voice. Oh yeah, um, and also just like a little bit of a darker side because mm -hmm. I think everybody has one. Yeah, and when we were you know writing phases, we were just thinking about. I mean, anyone goes through phases, but especially somebody very young, I feel like every few months it's like a whole new thing, and right. then you move on to something else and something else. So, and I think for a lot of kids, it's it can be tough when you're in a phase maybe when where your best friend is not talking to you, right. or where you have your first heartbreak. Well, I feel or, like it's a song that like all three of us can relate to. We're all for sure. girls at different ages. You different know? ages, like, yeah. I mean, everybody can go through a phase. So, uh, Phases is actually the title of, like, the entire album because oh, I thought it'd be cool because all of, like, the songs were, like, my different phases. So, yeah. like, Confused is about a boy and then, like, Wonderful is about, like, something completely different. Like, they're all totally different. So, I was like, I thought that would be cool. Great name. I love Yay. that. Yeah. 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 y
Look at me talk to my I'm not a dance for the songs. You said you want to dance? I said, I don't know how to dance. I They're interpreting my lines. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like, <laughs> Moving on hurt, I kind of <laughs> like love it. Am I scared? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> take a break, take a loss, <laughs> take a fall. Okay. But I won't take it all personal So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy all of the songs that I played for you and I'm so excited for my album to come out soon. Hey guys, this is me in the future, like two weeks after. <laughs> I didn't know um, at that certain time when I was filming the video when my album was coming out, but it is actually coming out on Tuesday, which I am so excited for and I literally can't wait for you guys to hear it. I just felt really weird ending the video without saying when it was actually coming out, but it's coming out Tuesday, so make sure you guys go get it and pre-order it right now so you guys can have it right when it comes out, and I love you! And comment down below what your favorite song was, and love you! <laughs>